Victor Ortiz here with Round One TV. How you been, Victor? Welcome been to New well, York. Been well, been well. Just hanging Good, out, man. you know. Hey, man, you got a real nice matchup here against Andre Berto, man. Yes, sir. Um, title shot, man. Talk to us about it. Well, you know, it's a welterweight championship of the world. You know, it's something a fighter like myself works for throughout his whole career, and I'm at the tips of it all. So, you know, I'm ready. April 16th. Good, good, man. Well, how do you respond to? You know, um, <coughs> your last performance. Uh, was I thought it was complete bull. Yeah? I thought I did enough to, even at a 65%, I pulled off that victory. I think the world saw that. I just thought it was ludicrous on the judges. Um, other than that, you know, it happened. It mm -hmm. was in the past. I left it there and on to the next. Now I'm fighting for the world championship. You know what? Yeah, I didn't perform my best. Okay. But even at a 65% that I did perform, mm -hmm. that was enough to beat him. Okay. I imagine if it would have been 100%. Laid out in 2-3, maybe. All right. If that. But hey, whatever. It happened, and uh, I'm fighting for the world championship now. All right, man. Well, good luck, man. Thank you. Right. Round 1 TV here with uh, one of the top box boxing writers, uh, Tom Hauser. How you been, Tom? I'm good, thank you. I'm good, man. We're just leaving the uh, Andre Berto versus Victor Ortiz uh, press conference, man. Who you like in this fight? This is an intriguing fight. Uh, Andre is probably the better boxer. He's faster. Victor can whack. One of the questions that people have about Andre Berto is his chin. So I like the fight. I like to see good fighters up against each other when the outcome isn't preordained. We're just coming off an uh, exciting weekend of boxing with Sergio Martinez uh, winning a decisive fight, man. Uh, who would you like to see Sergio in there with next? Sergio has a problem, which is who's going to fight him? Uh, he, there's not a whole lot at middleweight. He's had five tough fights in a row. So I would look for Sergio maybe in his next fight to step back a bit, uh, not go in against the toughest opposition, give him a chance to perform and show what he has, maybe against somebody like Peter Manfredo, and then I don't know what's up for him. Uh, I'd love to see Floyd Mayweather move up to fight him, but I don't think Floyd will. Manny Pacquiao is too small. Felix Sturm's not going to put what he has on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, Sergio should not go up to 68. Mm -hmm. That's just not his size. So I think we'll just have to let Sergio clean out 160 and, and see who emerges as a challenger. What about uh, if you throw Cotto in that mix? What do you think about that matchup? Miguel is past his prime. Miguel, yeah. Manette, Miguel now cannot fight competitively. So Sergio. you'd rather see him fight um, Manfredo over Cotto? It, it, I think Cotto is probably still a better fighter than Manfredo. Man, with Manfredo, it's an event. You have it up in Providence. The Sergio win, sure. I think Sergio wins fairly easily. But Miguel Cotto was a great fighter. He's past his prime. He's just not ready to fight somebody like Sergio. Anymore.